Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 13th of September 2022 and I have a video to play for you. This very video is coming from the interview granted by barista Ifanye Job for today after the appeal court hearing over the case of Mazenam Dekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and of course the commander-in-chief of the Eastern Security Network, ESN. You see, I have a problem, a very big problem, with the menace and the antecedent of Mrs. Uchechi Okukano. I have been taking it so easy with her because of the enormous respect that I have for Mazenam Dekano as my leader, who I follow his footstep. Not for the woman, because within these last few days. So she lied in the public on her first interview on Radio Biafra where she said that Mazinam Dekano is healthier than many of us outside. And I ask myself a simple question. How can someone who has been staying in a solitary confinement in the custody of the DSS, someone who has been held incommunicado, someone who recently even the lawyers can no longer visit him as they used to do before rather they have to come in one after the other with a minimum or uh, you know uh, amount of minutes with a very very harsh condition very harsh and hard condition that you can't even have a reasonable discussion with him because the place where they meet is bogged, according to the statement made by Baristifani Jofo some months ago. Ute Chiokukano, I don't know who gave her that word that she said on Radio Biafra that Mazinam de Kano is healthier than some of us outside. So it is understood that Uchechi stays in UK. Probably she has gone to see Mazinam Dekano once since the rendition to the zoo. It, in other words, she only communicates with Barista Ifanye Jofo. I don't think she communicates with Aloye Jimako because Aloye Jimako communicates with Kanon Takano, and I, it, it is also understood that. Uchechi Okukano is not on good terms with Kanon Takano. So, Uchechi Okukano, I don't know who gave her the word because I'm going to play you video from Ifanye Jofo that he admit today that Namdekano is sick. I'm not just talking rubbish. I am not, I don't do propaganda here. She's a woman that I loved and cherished so much because of the respect I have for her husband. But let me tell you, in this very freedom fight we are in, a lot of people have paid the ultimate price. Who, no matter who you are, once you betray, once you sell out, you cease to be my friend. I don't care who you are. You cease to be my friend. So Utechi has proven to be the Delilah of our own time. Remember, and don't forget in a hurry, that Delilah was a wife of a Jewish freedom fighter. Samson. Samson was a Jewish freedom fighter. And Delilah was the wife. And Delilah betrayed him and sold him to Philippine, uh, Phil Philistines. So don't forget. So if it's happening now, it is not the first time. It happened. And remember, according to if our history has to do, you know, has something to do with reality, that means we are Jews. Because we believe that is our lineage, that is where we come from, through uh, you know a, a god who happens to be the third son of Jacob. Are you getting it? So, if that we are truly Jews, so it is on our blood that 
we supposed to you know history is now repeating itself again in our own time so it's not new and nobody should be you know distracted or worried or even be amazed with the character that we have seen played out from the wife of Mazin Namdekano. That is the reality. Because I'm not just talking, I'll play you video now, 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 now. Are you getting it? If Anya Jofo has confirmed that Mazin Namdekano is not well, and what do we have to do? Anything you know you are doing to make sure that Biafra comes today and tomorrow, to make sure that Mazin Namdekano is released today and tomorrow, in fact, add more, add more because this is the time now. Our leader is sick. He is not okay. Remember yesterday I told you that no well kepu kepu nano from DSS custody. No well kepu kepu nano and that job me iku for basalia until confirm my information. Now I want you to watch the video. Share the video. I'm not coming back again for more analysis. I don't want to talk much because in kubo to to the nobi. Imana oga wanna tell me parry that woman. Marry that woman. Because I'm, I'm the sacrifice our people are paying for Biafra. So, in fact, just watch the video. I told me you could too much because I'll be a drama. Thank you, my people. Make sure they share this video. Keep this one as a record. It's going to go down the record lane because we are moving to our glorious destiny. Thank you. Um, we want to know questions uh, bound regarding the health status of uh, Amazon and the Kano, the IPOB leader. His health condition is part of the reason why we are caught on appeal. Uh, actually, you, of course, you may have noticed that we have an application for this bail, which we mentioned today before the court of appeal. But we, we've caught the leadership in their wisdom. We have the view that since the main case is right for hearing, which is the better appeal or something like appeal. That would be better for us to go into the battlefield and sort it out. Then, if you strike out that application, then on the door of judgment, if the judgment goes one way or the other, if the government says the seven count charge remaining are now dismissed, then that's the end of the case, it's settled. Then the lordship says, okay, this and that, this and that happened. Then we can now take a freedom for bail. That will be another option. But now, of that, and the, in that application for bail, we extensively discussed the issue, issue of his health. Do not, do not forget that his lordship, Honorable Justice Sinyaku, made farishing orders regarding <laughs> allowing him to bring his own personal physician to conduct independent investigation on his health sectors. These orders were flouted with impunity by, by DSS. Of course, DSS has a history of not obeying court orders. To have plethora of them, and that's part of the reason why we're in court of appeal today. So he's, he's, he's not being managed. He's, I can't say that his health is being managed by, yes, by, by SSS effectively because they don't have the facility to manage it. Of course, when he was in Kenya, he was subject to all forms of torture and ill treatment. So, on account of that, he's still taking drugs today. So, it is high time that's part of the reason why the court ordered that he should allow him, they should allow him. To bring his personal physician, his personal doctor, medical doctor to come and examine him. This order has been flouted to date. In fact, few days, few weeks in the past, few weeks ago, attempt was made at bringing a doctor to come and see him, and they said no. They said no. So, so, but these are facts before the court, and today, I've thankfully, it's not let us talk. Chief Michael Zekome also mentioned to the court that he's sick. I need to be treated. I need to be I need to be granted for free. We need to take his medical care of his medical state, medical health condition. So, because SSI has no facility to maintain to take give, give, to, to treat it. Of course, they are away about about they are away, you are you are it's, all, it's also in the public domain about the depletion of his potassium content uh, to content. So, these are serious health challenges that need medical medical prompt medical and sophisticated medical attention, expert attention. So, and don't SSI don't have such facilities. Right, they've been giving him drugs, they they've been on trial and they're you know, giving him drugs on daily basis and not working. So, but we believe that there'll be freedom, that there'll be that will be victory at the end of the day. We're not relenting, we're not giving rest, we're not we're not giving any anything to chance. We are all over the places with them. We're court appeal, we're high court, we're all over, we have other other actions to file against them. 
So, and I believe God will worship on this face of the state that Namdekano will regain his freedom sooner than expected. Thank you so much.